Hello, everyone. Hi, Rach. Hi, Kristen. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Late Night Crafts and Laughs. What's up? What's up? Hey, How are you, Rach? How How's you your doing? Wednesday? Midweek. Oh, oh how is everybody? Let's say hi to everyone, Rach. And um, who's our summa cum laude? Oh, Bonnie's first. <laughs> Cousin Bonnie's first. Tammy is home. Tammy's second. Hello, Robin. Hello, Marilyn. Um, who else is here? Our friends are here. Oh, Cynthia's here. We just saw oh, your Cynthia. tag of those new um, stamps that were being released. They're so, so cute. Exciting. So exciting. Frida is here. Stace is here as well. Barbara, Cynthia, <clears throat> Annette. Welcome, friends. How are you guys? Happy Wednesday. Yes, yes, yes. Commercial. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is a thing. It is now a thing. Commercials. <laughs> it makes it more legit. That's right. It does. So, how is everybody? How is everybody today? And Sandy is here. The salsa is a little hard on my on sore throat, but I am tough. Mm, sounds yummy. Oh, looks like you're doing bows, Rach. What are you doing today? Um, well, I'm kind of random and all over the place, but um, my goal is to make some cards using the current March 2022 Call Me Crafty Al sketch. Mm -hmm. this, um. With the spring flame theme, I'm going with this Bow Bunny circa 2017 collection using my stash called the Early Bird Collection. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make some cards, although I don't quite have everything prepped. And I have to, oh, that's the tricky part. I was using my phone for the sketch. So I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do for the sketch for a minute. <laughs> Robin doesn't want any commercials. Producer. Tell the producer. Hi, Mimi. Hi, Christina. Uh, you guys. Um, uh, What I'm doing is, so I found this in my stash. This is an old lawn fawn die, okay? But I don't think a lot of people have this die, and I think it's retired. I'm not sure if it's still available to use. So I decided, you know what? I'll just make it manually and show you guys how to make it so we can all have access to, you know, <clears throat> It's kind of close to what I'm doing. I just finished the measurements like, you know, minutes before the live. So we'll see how it goes. But you're going to need one sheet of um, eight by eight, eight and a half by 11. Hello, Christina. Hello, Erica. Hi, Christine. And hello, Sam. Welcome, guys. But I can watch tonight because I'm not working. But not working because I got the oh. Rona. Oh, no. Tammy's got the Rona. I'm sorry. Yeah, this die is beautiful. Mimi's got it too. And I love the stitching. The stitching um, always makes it look so yeah, legit. Um, so let me let me see if this works. I just want to check if this design works. Because if it does, then, then we're good. Then we're going to use it as our project. Okay, so let me. Robin, these are the dies that I use. They're not actually Cricut. I've actually never used my Cricut to cut bows. So this one is for the double bow, which I haven't made yet. And this one is for the, uh, where did it go? This one here. And it's, this paper was on clearance. This paper, it's, um, it kind of looks like leathery, I guess. It has really nice texture. It's not glitter. Um, it just really makes really nice bows. So I've had it on my desk since I bought it like two or three weeks ago. And I'm like, I'm going to make bows. If I'm buying anything new these days, mm -hmm. the goal is to make the project with it as soon as I get it rather than putting it away in my stash. Oh, Gina's here. It looks like it's still available because she shared a. It um, is. Okay. That's good. I'm going to teach you guys how to make it without getting the dies okay i'm just testing the theory and we're gonna be reported cousin bonnie's gonna report us <laughs> oh no oh thank no. you gina thank you so much um for the link yeah it looks like faux leather actually yes it does i just want to test the theory if it works 
you know, because Hi, you have like an idea in your brain and you want to check if it does work. And then I'll teach you. Yeah. It's just like super old, super old doodlebug paper that's in my stash. It's time to use because we all know that a new collection will come at some point. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I wonder. I'm so, so curious what the next collection will look like. Yes, you guys. Claudia's right. Hi, Claudia. Claudia's right. Let us pray for our cousin, Tammy, because she does have the COVID. I hope you feel better soon. I hope you feel better soon, um, um, Tammy. I was thinking Tammy would be still driving. Yes, because she usually on her way home, home because she's normally right. that's what she normally does. And now she has the corona. So now she got COVID, so she's at home. Christian, what is it you're making? I'm making a paper bag that is based on a lawn fawn dye. Okay, I think Gina said this is still available. I thought because this is so old, I thought that this is already retired and it's no longer available anywhere. So my workaround was to my workaround is to create something that is made manually so that you don't you don't have to have the dye. But I didn't know. I didn't know. I did not know that it's still available. Anyway, so if you do not want to get the dye, I will teach you how to make this using a sheet of, using one sheet of eight and a half by 11. I'm just testing what it looks like. Looks like it, looks like it works. Looks like it's working. So I'm going to get my. I'm oh, watching, not here. watching. Otherwise, I'm going to glue my fingers. <laughs> Do not glue your fingers. So this is what it's going to look like when it's all done. And this is using one sheet. One sheet of um, paper, eight and a half I by didn't... 11. So, okay, let's see. Okay, yes, okay, totally Sandra. works. Awesome, totally it looks works. We're going to have to do a side-by-side. -side. Right? Because I think I bought that for $24. Because I got it from Lawn Fawn. Right. Years ago. I think it looks amazing. And then this one is the greeting farm girl that I colored. And this is Ingrid. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Veronica. Hello, hello. And Denise is here. Hi, Denise. Look at that. I think she's going to be super, super cute. Well, that looks here. cute on there, Christian. That's what right? you were coloring last night. Yeah, this is what I was coloring last night. It's from Greeting Farm, and her name is Ingrid. It's from the All Year Collection. All Year. Is it called All Year Round? I don't know. I have Maybe. it right here because I haven't colored any of mine yet. I had it out. It is called Miss Anya All Year. Okay. Miss Anya all year. So what we're going to do is we're going to get. So this is the measurement. I just finished the measurement. I'm going to put it. Maybe I should put it in the video description. Okay. Let me put it right now. Detailed measurement. Let me type it Hi, so Olga. that everybody has access. Detailed. Hi, Olga. Measurement. Paper is 11 by 6 and 5, 8. I just want it to reflect. Just a moment, you guys, and then four. I did I not? Did the bending? Is that <gasps> what did I not do? I think I scored half. <laughs> I forgot to measure. Dang it! It's not straight. Uh -huh. That drives me nuts, mm -hmm. and it's such a pretty bow. I'm gonna have to put something over top of that. <laughs> I don't like that. What happened? When I fold one, it over the strip that covers the one, one, five, eight. bow, it went on a diagonal. It's just driving me crazy. No. There. No. Now nobody will know except all of you yep. and anybody else who watches this video. That's right. 
So at 11 inch score, at, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just typing the measurement so you guys can have access to it. Four and a half. So that everybody Ooh, has. Oh, Robin, which Mitania stamp did you get? Which one did you buy? Did you buy the Robin? Five. The Boba one. Five and. Thank you, Tammy. I don't know. The, this paper really makes them shine. And I don't know about all of you, but I went through the stage where I had to buy every single bow dye that probably Christian um, <laughs> recommended or was showing up on my feeds on Instagram. <laughs> and then the other night I was just, I, I made a, quite a few. I'll show you the other colors that I have in a minute. And uh, it was just funny because um, I was saying to Christian, what do we okay. do with all our paper bows that we make? Like, what right. is the purpose of having bows? Because they're 3D and you can't necessarily put them on cards. And I'm like, but they're just so darn fun to make. They are. <laughs> Paste. Okay. There. That's the measurement. So let's get the paper. I'm going to get a printed paper this time. you got to pull those out, Bonnie. The bows. Oh, I made a boatload of flowers. Yes, that you've been busy fun. with flowers. A little factory worker. Factory working flowers is so much fun. Okay, so we're going to need... So, guys, I if you're interested in doing this with me, I put everything in the description box as well as in the comment section. So, if you want to, I am going to get, I'm going to, it's, I need 11 by six and five eight. So six and five eight by 11. Okay. So I am just, I'm just, I'm just getting my basic sheet of paper. Okay. So you're going to need 11 by 6 and 5, 8. And then we start scoring. Okay, okay, okay. Very good, very good, very good. Of course, it's pastel -y because it's spring fling right now. Next, at the 6 and 5, 8 mark, you're going to score at 1 half and 1 and 5, 8 on both sides. Half. I hope it works. And 1 5, 8. And you're going to turn it, and at the 11 inch mark, you're going to score at four and a half, five, five and five, eight, and ten and one, eight. Okay, that is it. I'm gonna put this away. Hmm. Let's put that away. That's pretty paper. It's pretty, right? This is what we're making, cousin Sandra. This this is what it's going to look like eventually after everything has been cut. So I gave you guys all the measurements. It is inspired by this dye. I I thought that this dye was already um, out of stock and retired. That's why I'm making kind of like a, a version of it. But Gina said it's still available, which is great. Okay. And then, you know, you score score and then you're going to fold it here just the top connect these two connect them right there and then do the same thing for the other side you know isn't that impressive the cutting she has very spot on Straight. <laughs> Thank you. Cutting skills, even with her non-special scissors. What's what's the situation with your scissors, Christian? Because you were trying on a new fussy cutting one. Have you settled? Like we haven't talked no. about this in a while, you and I. What's the deal with your fussy cutting? Yeah, scissors? I haven't really found anything that is the same as sassy. Sassy okay. is like the best. Um, I was doing a runner-up, but it's different. It feels different. It's just not the same. Sassy is like the re the really best. You know? 
it just it just it just does it's not the same sassy is just the best the best so you're gonna get your i'm just gonna cut your tabs super easy this is gonna be a reinforcement tab 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 so pretty much I same as what we do um i love the colors is that iridescent blue Yes, it's an iridescent. I thought I originally bought these. I don't know if I've shared this here, but I bought them for Unicorn Month. But Unicorn Month didn't. It just came and went so fast. But I thought these would work really cute for uh, Mermaid Month. The blue, or I feel like mm -hmm. they're even spring colors. Like when I bought this iridescent paper, I just thought it was really, really pretty. And even though I bought it with Unicorn Month in mind, I feel mm -hmm. like it worked spring fling having said that i don't know what i'm going to do with all of them because i'll show you the other colors that i have but this paper just really works. i have so um these purple ones oh my gosh that's so pretty and then this pink one. Oh wow that is so doodlebug color it is. I just want to pass these over to you to use on your project tonight. Right. And then this purple one. And wow, really that like, is so pretty. It's different. So, it's so pretty. I don't know. And then that's not Stella bow. I'm kind of getting the hang of still doing the double bow because when you put mm -hmm. it together, the first time I was making that, I was doing it the wrong way. And I was gluing that. Where, where did that one go? I didn't recommend using the 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 die that has the pop outs because you couldn't really see the um what do you call that the, the scallop it's really it's a really pretty die but it didn't show up yeah. with the glitter yeah it's it's not you can't really see the details hi deb how are you those are very beautiful the colors are just gorgeous unicorn month oh, mermaid month yes mermaid month is may Okay. Unicorn month has passed. It is second, a third and fourth week of February. It went so fast. It <laughs> did. It came and went super fast. That's what one of the projects I made. I still have it in my tray because I'm, you know, you know the, the images I colored for the live, I'm still wanting to make embellishments. So it came and went so fast. So just because it's mm -hmm. one. It went so fast. Doesn't mean we can't. You're not alone. That. No, you're not alone. I hope this works because look, this is done, you guys. This is your box. Is that so easy? It's super it's cute. cute. Look at that. It's done, honey bunny. So it's done. It's done. It's done. Um. I, I take it, Gina, you, you weren't the unicorn fan? Yes. All unicorns. It's unicorns all year, girls. <laughs> Bonnie. Yes, that's for me, it's coffee. Hi, Anna. It's coffee. I'm Hi, still Anna. stuck Hi. in coffee month. I'm still stuck in coffee month. Yeah, coffee month was legit. I love the colors of spring, though. That I've been working it. on. It's based on Tamara Urban Forager's um, what do you call it? Album. Flip book. Is it flip book or tag book? But I'm actually stitching on pattern paper, which I haven't sewed on paper for a long time. So this was kind of fun because this is a project that she shared um, after buying the um, honeybee. The dye die and this project I've made two of them I'm just putting them all together I love the shaker part in the center and I've used some tool that Christian sent me but what I what's neat about this project it's all scraps left over from the recipe book that I made my sister for Christmas so it feels like a bonus project where you're using your what is that scrap no paper left behind no paper left behind everything. so I feel like I'm really making this paper pad stretch with this it feels like a win, doesn't it? Like when you do no paper left behind, it feels like a major win. 
And oh, then I still have the Scrap Diva die, coffee latte cup die that I want to use. Let me so, see if I can coffee find that. all year long. And then I made a boatload of flowers and I still, so I, I was working Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So what I did after work was I did a boatload of flowers and this is what I punched. Look at all those. They're so pretty. So spring. They're so easy to make. Look how pretty. Oh, Ale's here. Hi, Ale. How are you? So look how much. It's all scraps. Oh, wow. Scraps. Stuff that you would throw away and it's turned into a cute little project. Yeah. So I did four layers. Four. I punched them and I put a center and then it's done. So there's like different sizes. This one. This is the second one. Let's see. Okay. This is the big one. The big oh, punch. So pretty. What are you using for the centers? The the regular confetti feet that I get from Hobby Lobby. The for the feet of certain oh, things. Oh, I didn't realize they were that big. Or is that just yeah. a big flower? Or small no, flower? It's it's the oh. same look. It looks so different. I thought there was. Uh. Look at that! It's beautiful. I have a whole bunch of those. Um, what do you call those balls from that you cut in half to try? Yeah, from the Dollar Tree. That's perfect. Yeah. And look, you can use it and mix the different sizes if you wanted to. This pretty. One I like how you mix the patterns with the cardstock. Mm hmm. So you can definitely mix. You can mix different colors, different sizes. It's up to you, whatever you feel like you're doing with your your scraps. Because these are scraps, right? Yes. And it's so easy because it's just regular flower season. Yes. So many of us are making flowers. Look. What is every, what's everybody's current projects? What are you working on right now? Yep. What are you up to? What are you up what are you to? working on? Yes. Flowers, bows, coffee cups. <laughs> I know Ale is making tags, birthday tags, just to have them ready, she says. Um, I'm always making them when I need them, like three seconds before. <laughs> Cousin Bonnie said, Cousin, I'm going to make another uh, doodle bug house and make oh egg houses i love it oh, i love it love it love it that's amazing um robin just made flowers too birthday cards i'm making a blank for veronica Ooh, but Lots yes but i'm not good with flowers robin's making um christmas flowers <laughs> Good. I'm glad I'm not the only one who's like way behind sometimes these trends. <laughs> Get the head start for Christmas in July. That's how you look at it, Robin. That's right. And I did one night of I just punched everything. Look, I have all these punch things. I took out all, uh, all you know, some of the punches, took them out, and I put them in these containers. And oh, when that's I'm ready a good to idea. Assemble. I got rid of all those. When I am ready to assemble, it's just here. How and are you enjoying your organized craft room now? Oh, I love it so much, Rach. Thank you so much for your help. Alicia, hello. Thank you so hello, much for Alicia. your help, Rach. It feels so amazing to be here. To This is my refuge now. It, before, it was like, um, let me get out of my craft room. It's too much. Now, I come here to relax to drink coffee, to watch the news. I even come here when the kids are in school. I come here and eat my lunch here. Because oh, really? So, yeah, because it's, it's so much place. fun. It is my happy hey. place. And it just brings me so much joy being in here, in this space. Because it's all arranged. Yay, that's Love awesome. It. Thank you for your help. You're like the best. The best. 
Um, it when it comes to like consultant, consultant or crafty organization. Organizing um, stuff. Tammy said, I lost my crafty mojo when I lost my dad in December, but I think I'm almost ready to Easter craft. Yay! For my oh grand my um, I'm sorry oh, for your good. loss, my friend. I'm glad you're getting back into the saddle of things. Yes, it takes time. Yeah, it does. Okay, Debbie so. wants to know when you're going to give a cra craft room tour. Yes, very soon. Very soon. I have one box oh, to offload. One box to offload. And then, um, yeah, almost there. Like, really almost there, to be honest. I am ready. I'm so proud of all the work that went into this craft room. Like, I really, 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 really am happy. Cute. I consider organizing my craft stuff just sometimes as fun as organizing my, as crafting. I feel like this hobby is the buying, the organizing, the planning of the project, the making mm -hmm. it, and then the giving it away part. There's so many parts of this. Yes. And it's so much fun being able to like put everything Rach, before you told me, I did not know how much sprinkles I have. And you're like, put them all together. <laughs> and like, holy moly, I <laughs> I have a lot of this stuff. Well, now <laughs> you know like, you don't have yes, to buy yes. any of those anymore, right? You right, right. You're not looking for anything that you see people buy because, you know, so Rachel's you best your tip staff. if you're organizing yeah. is put all the categories together. Cousin, are those direction one in five eight? Yes, one in five eight. Sorry, sorry, Bonnie. It is one in five eight. One in five eight. Wait, 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 wait. Score at one half. Score at one half. Let me, let me resend. Let me resend the copy. Save. Let me resend the instructions. Oh gosh, Jean, sorry to hear that. Um, I'm sorry, Gina. Prayers, prayers, prayers. I feel like that's what we, we've been able to give each other in this pandemic, is praying for each other. And crafty time. You know, the Escape. support. Escape. Escape, yep. Oh, that's crooked. What's going on with my eye tonight? <laughs> Do you find, I don't know, I feel like the, the my paper trimmer didn't cut the paper well enough. Is it crooked? I don't know. It's crooked on the thing, but it's also crooked on the. This really I... looks like the lawn fawn, you guys. It does. Do you have one side by side so we can see it side by side? No, but I can easily cut it. I can easily cut it and assemble it. And man, it looks legit the same. Let me cut because I have my switch beside me. Let me cut it and show you that it's the same if you feel like you want to buy it you can but let me get the die so we can see god everything's so wonky what is going on <laughs> don't is look your too eyes close, you guys oh my goodness Let me go back to Gina's comment. I lost a friend. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Gina, I'm so sorry. I didn't see that comment. I'm so sorry about that. Good night, cousin Olga. Good night, Olga. Yeah, the switch looks pretty amazing. 
yeah, the cost. The cost is. And here it's a hundred dollars more than it is in the U.S. That's crazy. That's crazy. Expensive. And it's supposed to go up more once the introductory price is over with. Oh, I can hear the crunch. Obviously, if you have the die, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to measure, right? Of course, you have the die already. But if you do not have the die, this is your alternative. The measurement I gave you and how I assembled it, that's how you're going to assemble it as well. I hope it's not super loud this way. Hear the crunch. Do you um? Uh, do you have to worry about when you're crafting late at night when you come home from work about like waking up your family? What is it, Rach? Do you have to worry about waking up your family when you're? Crafting when you get no, home? it's not. It's not that loud in real life. Oh, that. No, I don't think so. Cause I'm in the I'm in my craft room, and the kids are in their rooms. So no, it's not. It's not that big of a deal. So wait. Okay. So here we go. Let's assemble that. So this is the die. Okay, this is what we made manually. This is the die. Obviously, this has stitch marks and scallop things. You can definitely put scallop if you want to. And this has the score marks right here. And yeah. But definitely mine is sturdy. <laughs> Just saying. Mine is sturdier. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Right there. So you're pretty much just attaching it. See? Look at that. Oh, so good. So if you want to, you could buy the die if you don't like measurements. However, if you don't feel like you want to buy the die, I give you the measurements, my friend. Okay. And it's the same outcome. Obviously, this one has scallops. The one I showed you does not have any scallops, but I think you will survive. And your recipient will survive without the bags having scallops. I wonder how much it is. Oh, the Gemini is loud. This one is not that bad. And by the time I get here, everybody is in the REM cycle. So. I love the pink one that you Look. have. I had it at the local scrapbook store here was black or white. What's the name of the Greeting Farm Girl stamps again? The ones that you, the Umbrella Girl came from the Miss Anya All Year set. Mm -hmm. It's the same set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten girls plus Sen. Yep. Yep. Her name is Ingrid. The one with the umbrella is Ingrid. That's Ingrid right there. This is Rachel. This is me. <laughs> we named it after ourselves. <laughs> Yay, whatever. We can do it. So one of the switches at Hobby Lobby. How come you didn't get it? Oh. Um, yes, they have them the there, too. Cranky. Yes, they do, actually, Rach. And it's cheaper at Hobby Lobby. Really? Yes. I'm just going to do yes. a die cut. I didn't prep my butterflies. I'll be right back. I'm here. I'm Girl, here. No problem.
And I was able to color some Christian, but I was not able to fussy cut. So we are going to have two fussy cut them so that I can decorate it with a Christian. Give me a second. Where is that? I hope I remember where I put it. Oh, here. Here, here, here. In front of me. So. So the difference is this one is a lawn pond. It has stitching on the handle. It has like itty bitty scallops. Super, super pretty. This one is my version. A little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. But this one you have to manually do it yourself versus, you know. So let's see. We have this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this one. This is a Christian. That's her name. Oh, those colored girls look so good. I like how you colored the hair. Thanks. This is my, oh my gosh, my jelly roll number 10 is broken. It's so annoying. Look at that. These work. Oops. Yikes. Now that's, that's done. I'm going to put it in the trash. It broke? Okay. How did it break? Well, it didn't work. It doesn't work. It's the second time that that's done that. And yeah, it just stopped working for me. So I'm going to move on. I'm going to get an eight at least. Oh, no, I need to buy a new one, right? What was I using earlier? I just used the eight. I'll just use the eight. Does it make that big of a difference? Yes. Uh, yes, it does. Yeah, it does. But Christian, that's okay. do you remember how last night I was looking for my square cards and I couldn't find them? Yeah. They're like right here. <laughs> In front of you? They're, they're on my desk the whole time. Oh my gosh. I swear that yes. happens to me. Maybe it was. Oh, good. You're not I alone. Hope, I hope I'm not the only one. Can't see right in front of my. With my craft. You, you are not alone, girl. Um, I learned the dotting technique from an Instagrammer. The name is Popsicle Sticks or. Because she was putting dots. I don't, I'm sure it's a she. Popsicle sticks. But it's not my original idea. I just, because I think it's super, super cute adding the dotted details on them. So cute, Rachel. If you put a piece of wax paper between the butterfly dye and the paper, it'll, it'll come out easier. Wow, oh, didn't know that. That, that took a really long time. Time to pop out. <laughs> Gina said that if you put a piece of wax paper between the dye and the paper, it will pop out easier. I'll have to go try that for the next one here because I'm going right? to two of these. Like us crafters, we get a lot of tips and tricks from our crafty friends. It's what the best part of having these like get togethers, right? Is the yep. wealth of like information a everybody of, has yep. from expertise. Experiences. experiences. Thank you for sharing. Popsic yes, Popsicle Sticks. Oh, her name is Davina. Yes, I saw this technique from Popsicle Sticks. I think she's from Nevada, Cynthia, right? She's from Nevada. And she does this snow, I, I, I call it snow technique. I don't know what she calls them per se. 
but they're so cute. They're so cute. These scissors, I was so baffled. I was so surprised that they survived. This is the first scissors that I have when I moved to America in 2006. And it's still alive. Oh, wow. This is like the first ribbon that I bought for myself when I got here. This ribbon. Because I was into pink and brown at that time. Oh, I loved pink and brown. Right? At that time, it was so in. Pink and brown was in. Yes, it was. That's the crib Alexa. I, I got for Alexa in 2008. Was such Aww. a thing. My diaper bag was still, well, it was much later when I had William in 2013. But my diaper bag was owls with pink and brown. Right? That was in. That color combination was in. And I can't believe that the, these scissors survived because it, you know, it was manufactured before 2006. Super That's old. Pretty she impressive. is in my city. I did not know Cynthia is also in Nevada. Cynthia, oh, wow. I didn't know you're in Nevada. With popsicle cool. sticks. Popsicle sticks, her name is Davina. I just found out. She's super talented. I love the snow technique. That was genius. Genius. Hi, Crafty. Rach, Greeting Farm has two free digitals for Ukraine. What? Oh, Where my God. I coming know from that. Christian? I'm coming from the Philippines, Ale. I came from the Philippines in 2006. Came here for a nursing job. Well, I went to I went to Washington first from the Philippines because my family's in Washington. Studied for the boards, studied for my nursing boards, passed it when I was in Washington, and then I migrated to. I moved to California for a nursing job. That is so cute! Oh my gosh, my hair! This is me. My hair is so fab. <laughs> Pink and brown stuff, right? Yeah. Look how cute. I'm going to get some more grass. I think the grass looks really cute. And then we can add like spring flowers. Hi, Latanya. So I think the grass adds something to the, uh, the overall environment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gina, I'm going to Vegas on the 26th. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I remember doing like um, a bestie single gal trip to Vegas. Um, me and a bestie, we, we went there, we stayed there. We just, you know, single gals. We were in a relationship then, but her boyfriend let us leave without them. I remember staying in the hotel, being single. And we were just having so much fun. Isn't that an opportunity for what stays in Vegas or whatever? That's saying no. what happens in Vegas. No, we shopped. Vegas. We shopped like nobody's business. That's what stayed in Vegas. But we brought th we brought it with us. We were <laughs> we were not. <laughs> so it, it, it didn't really stay in Vegas because we, we showed our boyfriends what we got. Hi, Maria. How are you? We don't have work today. There's lots of good outlets in Vegas, isn't there? Like outlet malls? Yes, there's a lot. I've never been to Vegas. Vegas is so beautiful. It is, it's a fun city uh -huh. to shop and hang out. And mingle. Cool. You're cute, cute. One eight. Mingle, mingle. Deb hasn't been to Vegas in years. Outlet malls. Lots of outlet malls. Lots of shopping to be done there. I need hmm. to add some itty bitty flowers. 
think my sister went there for her 40th birthday just before Corona shut down. Wow. That was close. Yep. I think Ingrid's I think Ingrid's outfit is precious with a yellow raincoat, don't you think? Yes, it's cute. Sam said she was married in Reno and honeymoon in Vegas. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> yes, yeah, we yeah, do, yeah. Robin. Yes. Canadians are bargain shoppers. That's actually why Target didn't do very well in Canada because they were in Canada for a hot minute. Um, yeah, I don't remember if it was even a year or not, but oh, really? they, they didn't do very well because Target didn't anticipate the degree Canadians go to shop to get a deal. So um, Target everybody went to weren't, Walmart. Weren't the competitive edge that Canadians were looking for and uh, it didn't have the same US feel that we all loved so it was quite disappointing when they did get here oh wow that's amazing Let's I think I, I still have the lamp I bought for the baby room because I remember getting a uh, gift certificate from the parents that I was teaching that from the kids I was teaching the year I was pregnant with William. And it's still on the get some flowers. I do four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm basically factory working. I don't have sentiments prepped. I didn't have like, I didn't have everything That's okay. as polished today. That's okay, Rach. No worries. There's no grades. All just chats and hanging out. Thank you, thank you, There's everyone. No Go ahead. Go oh, ahead, no, Rach. Trying to get the context of Gina's comment. If I ever find a crafter here in Reno to connect with, I'm going to be shocked. Does that mean there's no crafters or there's lots? Is that sarcasm? I'm terrible with sarcasm. What? That's impossible. I'm sure there's a crafter in Reno. <laughs> you have all of us, Gina. That's right. Yes, exactly. Uh oh, I just put the pin down again to my. Oh, I got to put an eraser on it. I yes. still haven't done that. <laughs> still. And I've had to like replace the needle again because I lost it. You what? Think I would learn, but no. Okay, oh, I like the flowers all over the place. Yellow, pink, pink. Well, I have had an exciting thing with a, a, having a crafter real cl up close and mm -hmm. um, here at home. My daughter started mm -hmm. kindergarten, of course, and I was hoping mm -hmm. to find, connect with a mom friend. And it turns out that my mom friend, the mom of the daughter is a crafter. She's not a paper crafter. She's a fabric crafter she loves to sew and makes really cool appliques and stuff but mm -hmm. we have we both have the crafty vibe crafty excitement like you know when you get excited about a project somebody gets that the, you know the going to the dollar trees and going to michael's and all mm -hmm. that stuff yes the hordes of you know the stash of stuff <laughs> I am glad you have a crafty friend near you. I'm sure we have to find Gina a crafty friend. Yes, we have to find Gina one. I agree. That is a thing. Like, if you guys know a crafty person in Reno, let us know. Because we need to find a crafty friend for my sister Gina right there. 
Ooh, Anne. Hi, Creative Chica. I think your name is Anne. Hello, hello, hello. Stopping by before bed. Hello. Welcome. Tell me, I have, to have the test. I have bruisers all over my body and a few of them hurt. Ooh, you got to get your blood test to see how your hemoglobin is. Because that's for... Just get it checked. I think oh. that will be a good idea. I'm happy my mom is coming. Yay! Oh, is she a paper crafter, Ale? Your mom? Because it's fun to have, like... My mom is a crafter, but she's sewing. She's a sewer. My mom there. likes the paper craft. Perfect. Isn't it fun to have a mom that is crafty? I think so. The common oh. bond. <laughs> I'll never yeah. forget when she came into my scrap room not that long ago. She's like, she hadn't seen it in a while. Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> That's right, Mom. I'm very blessed. <laughs> but she's one to talk. <laughs> she has a lot in her craft room, too. What I love about my mom's crafty, like, for me, when I make something, like, I see something made, I have to have the exact dye, the exact this, to, like, replicate it. Mm -hmm. But my mom... Has your mind in the sense, Christian, where she'll like try and replicate it with what she has mm -hmm. rather than buying everything that you think you need for the project? Oh, she's like an outside of the box. And she like saves things. Like the funniest thing is like she'll give me a card for my birthday, but it has bits and pieces from cards that I've given her, whether it's <laughs> for my birthday or something. She reuses stuff. <laughs> That's so cute. That's so cute. And Hello, Gail. Once she forgot Hello. What she, who she was giving it to, you know? That's so, so cute, that was pretty Rachel. Funny. I love that. <laughs> Resourcefulness. Hello, Leslie. Yeah. Hello, Gail. Okay. Um, Hello, welcome, Gail. welcome, everyone. And it's morning for Leslie. <clears throat> yes. Welcome to Late Night Crafts and Laughs. We are making... Rachel is making cards. And I'm making gift bags i was copying the lawn fawn one and we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison the lawn fawn in my version obviously my version is free but you have to make it yourself <laughs> Today's been full of meetings for me. the, the sketch from call me crafty l you're supposed to have enough to like have a different you know all the different combos but I have two of the same one left over. Like, how is that possible? Two of the same one left over. Well, like, the way you do the <coughs> sketch, you use six, six by six paper pad sheets, and then you cut them according to the sketch. But then you're mm -hmm. supposed to pair them together. So you have one, you know, of the three sheets, you have three patterns on there. Because you choose two of each the same. But the last card uh -huh. that I'm trying to make has two stripes left over. How's that possible if you had cut everything the way it was supposed to go? Hmm. That's weird. Weird. That is weird. And I have to improvise. Yes. Good night, Stacy. Good night. And it, for Barbara, it is also one twenty four a.m. in Delaware. You're tough. Wow. <clears throat> yes, Tammy, thank you for the water. I'm all right. It is, um, it is pollen season. A very active pollen season in here. Because Sacramento is like a, you know, like a dome. <clears throat> and it catches all the pollen everywhere. I think I need a critter somehow. I do. I'm going to get a critter from... Yeah, that would look cute. Do you have some color from that set? Huh? Over the cat? 
<laughs> yeah, but I don't think I, have, I would have time to actually. I'm just putting like a porcupine here somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to do a porcupine. And then a bee, like a. Like hey, a Alicia, I finally got her voice back. She's. Yes. Oh my gosh. That took forever, Alicia. Oh. I know allergies are bad this year, Ale. <clears throat> Alicia's voice was gone for a long time. Yeah, it was a long time. Right? Making the teeny the tiny hill. flowers are from a punch. So I just punched it four times. This one is from Hobby Lobby. <coughs> Ooh, this would be cute here. <coughs> I don't know if you can see the lady, but I guess you could. <clears throat> I guess you still could. <clears throat> it's still snowing in March. Oh no. Oh, that's cute. I just need a sentiment, to be honest. <clears throat> a sentiment would be adorable. I need to stamp a sentiment. <clears throat> so, you guys, you can make this without the dye or with the dye. If you want to get the dye, I think Gina provided the link. <clears throat> However, if you want to create your own... You could as well. I've provided the instructions for you in the description box below so you don't have to buy it. <clears throat> but if you already have it, then, like Mimi, she has this long one that I got it years ago. <clears throat> one, of my, one of my doctors in the ER asked me what I wanted for Christmas, and I said, I want scrapbook.com gift card. <laughs> That's how I got it. <laughs> I wasn't shy. <clears throat> I was like, yeah, scrapbook.com gift card, please, thanks. Not shy at all. Perfect. You got what you wanted. <laughs> right. Well, you asked. Don't ask if you don't mean it. Yes, that's true. That's also don't true. Because I will tell you, because I have a list. <clears throat> yes, it looks so cute. I need a sentiment. Yes, I'm That's surprised. Good. I was thinking, what? Yeah, Christian's like, yes, the sentiment is important. Until it has a sentiment. You need a sentiment for sure. Rach, we need to do an episode that we're just stamping sentiments because I think that is very encouraging when it comes to. Yes, it is part of our stash. Why not? Wait, it's tricky to build your <laughs> stash, that's for sure. Ah, oh, there it is. It's, it. Mine is overflowing at this point, but I do have a lot of sentiment stamps. I do. That's still on my list. My goal was once a month was to be able to build my stamp stash. And it's March, and I still haven't done that. <laughs> It is. It is fun to have a sentiment stash. This one's on me. That's cute. So I'm going to make it. <clears throat> there. All my bows are made. Yay. Yeah, yeah. Now, what to do, use them on will be another story. Night, night. Thanks for joining us. All the bows are gorgeous. Yay. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Grammy Christine. 
Time for bed. Bye, Creative Chica. <clears throat> I think Creative Chica is Rosemary. Yes, Rosemary. Good night, Rosemary. <clears throat> Good night, Rosemary. Julie. Oh my gosh. The Creative Chica. No, the Stamping Chica is Rosemary. Maybe it's Julie. Sorry about that, Miss Julie. I hope it's Julie. Good night, Julie. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, honey. <clears throat> oh, that looks cute with the little critters. It does? Okay, that makes me happy because I'm like, oh, yeah, it doesn't look cute. Flowers. You just have a knack for adding all the layers and making it complement and not look like you've just stuck a whole bunch of stuff on your project. <laughs> I have a 3D project I'm trying to embellish and I'm just not feeling it. I'm being too hard on my <clears throat> Oh, the, the butterflies are beautiful, Rach. Thank you. This is like a, this, what do you call that? I got these from my crafty godmother. Very crafty god. So. It looks really pretty with the glitter layered on white card. I mean, on regular cardstock. I'm going to make more, but I'll do that. <clears throat> I'm going to fill this. And with... I have to add a sentiment. I'm trying to decide if these are going to be Mother's Day cards or feminine birthday cards. Oh, yeah. Something. Mother's Day card for sure. So. Because that's coming up. You can sell those cards. I'm hoping to try and sell some. I was thinking of putting them in a nice little gold basket and putting them in the photocopier room at work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody has a mother. <clears throat> That's for sure. Yes, I agree. They need to go down. Yay! Here in Canada, it is Eight dollars a gallon. Oh, hold on, what did we figure? There's eight? four liters a gallon, and it's two dollars a liter. Yeah, so it's eight dollars a gallon here. Dang, dang, that's intense. Wowzers! <clears throat> wow, that's a lot of money. Yep. To get, to get, I haven't get filled up yet the new prices. <laughs> Mine is done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks really good, Christian. Thanks. I've reached where I'm at for my project. It looks like you're almost done. I, honestly, if you didn't know which one was the lawn fawn from like looking up from afar here and which one was the handmade one, because you can't see the stitches. Um, <clears throat> yes, I think thank those you are so awesome. much. So this one is a yeah, lawn fawn one because it has stitching right here. You can't see it from where, where I'm at. And then the scallop. Oh, there. Yeah, I see it now. This one does yeah. not. <clears throat> and there's no scallopies. But I think it, it's comparable. I think it looks the same. <clears throat> sort of. If you only wanted, like, something for, like, a quick, small, like, it was, like, one project, it would be doable to do it the hand. What do you, what do we call it? The right and if you don't have access obviously if you don't have access to the die <clears throat> the manually Although done I one would be your best option i don't i do think though if you have a silhouette there's something that's similar in the silhouette store i'm going to go look at my dies now <laughs> i want to make some of those isn't it so cute to have them ready it might be a cute happy spring break thing since <clears throat> this week friday is the last day before spring break I didn't give any of my coworkers anything cute for um, Valentine, so it might be fun to do something for spring break. The little girl, the greeting girl with the umbrella, Ingrid. You just fold it, <clears throat> and you just store it in your stash, and then it's going to be ready when you need it. Cute. <clears throat> Ingrid's boots is so adorable. They're adorable. Seriously. Where is Ingrid? She would love this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you guys. <clears throat> the die is a little bit expensive. So my suggestion is just use my <clears throat> measurements. And you can make your own. 
and you can make it all the time and you just need a scoreboard but this is beautiful though you cannot contest that this there's stitching here and there's color yeah right and it's one swipe i mean it's probably it's way it was way faster to do the dye than yeah. the Mm -hmm. manual that's what you call it the manual yes from scratch it is it is so much faster you just like cutting it twice and then assemble that this one you have to like score and everything it's comparable but, you know depending on what resources you have you can choose whatever you like yeah <laughs> what are the girls with umbrella stamp come from oh yes they're the greeting farm stamps and this set is that umbrella girl is from the miss anya all year set that's alicia that's janet girl in a sweater that's elaine that's jessica that is fatima <clears throat> this is rach that's ingrid I think we named them during a live, and I don't think Rach, you were there. <laughs> but no, I, I don't remember you. doing it's, this with this. Yeah, one. because I know this is your favorite, so we named this girl after you. Yeah, she's my fave. I can't wait to do something for summer with her. <clears throat> yep, this is Babs, Kika, Christian, because I wanted to have one with a phone. This is Vero, who's shopping. Vero was shopping. Um, and this is Jenny. Jenny's the. Because it was, it was, um, it was almost Halloween. I think I'm back in my home. And we made Jenny. <laughs> good night, good night, Miss Gail. Good night. Okay. I love this. Everybody's dance. getting so ready cute. for bed here. Yes. And I think also, like, we are done with our projects, Rach. One yeah. hour. We extended yep. a little bit. We did extend it a little bit. So you did a nice recap of what you made. Oh, is that had some has some texture? The glitter paper. Hey, there's glitter on the um, Ingrid one. Mm -hmm. Everybody said there's something going on with your sound. My what? My sound? Yeah, it sounded wonky for a little bit, like a cartoon oh, no. or something. Oh no, that's weird. I, it sounds better to me now. I didn't notice it as much. It was pointed out. Must be some streaming thing. It probably is like a stream yard thing. Yeah. Well, I my project tonight was I took the paper that I had cut with bows that were on my desk when I was doing some factory work and made all of those to add to my collection that I started for Unicorn Month. So I have this really cool paper that I was working with. Uh, it's not really glitter paper. It's not leather paper. It's really thin, but it really has a little, a bow, sorry, a bow, a, um, what do you call it? A leather look to it a little bit, really shiny and pretty. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure I'll figure something to do with those. And then I had um, a sketch uh, that I used this old Circa 2017 Bow Bunny early bird collection. I got this paper pad from my Crafty Fairy Godmother. And I'm going to turn it into probably a Mother's Day card. And I just have three, uh, six different ones that I've made the bases for. And then I'll add the butterflies or maybe some other type of embellishment um, um, to, tomorrow, I guess. And then sentiments. I think I lost my sentiment last year, my Mother's Day one. It got stuck to something. So hopefully I have one that I can use. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, Gina. Thank you, Thank you, everybody. We always appreciate your company and your friendship as we craft along and have That's fun. Right. We absolutely appreciate every single one of you guys who join us during these late nights of us crafting. <laughs> we absolutely appreciate your friendship and support, and I hope to see you guys in next week's episode. I hope you enjoyed tonight's episode. Thank you so much for being here, Rach. Thank you so we much always, for your friendship. Thanks for getting together with us. We look forward to thanks, Christian. Your projects look amazing. I love the dots on the hair. That's such a cute tip that you will you um had, and it, you will make it look so easy for the rest of us that are still learning. 
Thank you so much, Rach. Love your projects. Love your cards. They make it look so easy. The cards, man. I struggle with What cards. is with those sketches? Sketches are the bomb. Sketches are the bomb. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Lisa's here. I didn't even know. Hi, Lisa. And bye, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. We'll see you next Wednesday. I guess we'll be doing more spring flame, Christian. We didn't even talk about that, what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to do some spring flame because it's still spring flame next week. So there's so I many I want to do projects. a 3D project. Yeah, let's do a spring flame 3D project for sure. Next week. It's gonna night, be night, everybody. Thanks for coming. We'll see you all Bye, next friends. week. Bye, Bye. friends. Bye, Rach. Bye, Christian.